Hello, Gemini. Welcome back to 3333 Inverse 33. This is your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for Gemini, October 2022. Gemini Love. Please tell me for Gemini Love three cards. Please tell me for Gemini Love, October 2022. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for Gemini Love. Gemini Love, please. Oh, wow. Okay, I usually pick them as when they fall out. Okay, there we go. Or they flip over in the deck. We have the King of Ghosts, which is the King of Cups. Two more cards for Gemini. October, this one, okay? This is the Five of Ghosts. So someone is sad. They also do not want you to know that they're sad, okay? So they could be definitely hiding it because this card jumped up and then it went back into the deck. But I caught, you know, I took it, you know, like that. So five of ghosts is the five of cups. I'm getting it. They're hiding it. Okay. Yeah, they're hiding how how they feel. They feel really deep towards you. They feel a really deep. Yeah, eleven, eleven on the clock. Gemini, whoever this is, could definitely be a soulmate, twin flame, or either some type of deep soul, you know, soulmate contract. It was supposed to be um, played out in this lifetime, okay? So what I'm saying with the Two of Ghosts, which is the Two of Cups, you know, and the Five of Cups, someone is feeling, you know, they're missing you. They're not around you. It's obvious with the Five of Cups, they're sad, they're regretful. Um, it looks like they're grieving you, okay? Gemini, one more card for Gemini, October 2000. Beautiful, thank you. We have the Eight of Pumpkin, which is the Eight of Pentacles in this deck lovely so i do see you're very focused on your craft you're very smart and you know like a whiz i'm hearing whiz so like um you're crafty you're very smart highly intelligent you're the best at something so on your job you're the best okay gemini that's really what i'm getting it's like it's no if a bands about it you are you're it like if there's something that needs to be done the boss is coming to you for it that's what i'm picking up Okay, Gemini, beautiful. Let's get started. So let's see what's at the bottom. Yeah, you're money focused, Gemini. So not too much focused on love right now. As I can see, this is a love reading. So the King of Pumpkins is a stable king. He could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, but all the king, you know, but you know, kings um, of Pentacles is Capricorn energy. So even the Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles are both Capricorn's energy here. So it can mean another Earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. But this is um, the energy coming up as um, Capricorn. So you could be Gemini with heavy Capricorn in your chart. This is your main energy, Gemini, for the rest of the month regarding love. So you definitely could be meeting someone that's very, you know, gifted, truthful, st uh, very stable financially and stability. So... I'm hearing mentally stable. So, like, this guy or woman is very stable. Um, they bring a sense of calmness, peaceness around them when they're around you. They're also financially well off or they are they just know how to handle their money very well. Like, you know, if they're budgeting, they're great at it. It's just stuff like that. Pinnacles. So, this person is all about their, their money. So that's why I'm saying this person could be a business owner, a CEO, or into some type of management or supervisor position where they're over a lot of people or just over people in general. But that's what I'm saying. So the main month, I mean, the main energy for this month, Gemini, is the King of Pentacles, which is just, you know, you being focused on your money, working. I feel like you're working, you're saving, you're just building up your money. That's really what I'm getting, Gemini. Even though it's a love reading, there it is, the King of Cups, like I said, which is the King of Ghosts in this deck. They do love you, whoever this person is. It could be the King of Pentacles or Gemini. It could be two people. We have Cups here, which is um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And then we have Pentacles here, which is a, a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. But um, the Cups is usually ran by Cancer. So the main energy for the King of Cups, which is the King of Ghosts, would be Cancer. And the main energy around this earth energy here for the king of pentacles would be capricorn so that's the strong energy there um, from these cards so 
Well, that's what I'm saying, Gemini. You definitely could have two people. For one, for some of you guys, then it could be um, the same person. But I highly doubt that. I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling two different people could be around you. One around your workplace. This very stable. Like I said, he could be a boss. Um, he could definitely have his um so he could be very well established that's what i'm saying with the king of pinnacles someone's coming towards you too i do see that so here we go yep maybe this king of pinnacles haven't showed you how they feel or something i'm getting the energy as well gemini for this love reading that someone hasn't revealed to you how they feel there's a lot of love here we do see that with the king of cups okay I'm getting around work. There's pinnacles. Whoever it is, they want something very solid, very stable with you. They feel this connection too, even if they're not telling you at this moment or not showing you. Okay, Gemini? So that's what I'm saying with the king of pinnacles. Behind it is the knight of bats, which is the knight of swords. Bats are swords in this deck. And pumpkins are pinnacles in this deck as well, okay? Behind, yeah, they could be coming in very fast with an apology. Page of ghosts which is also cups. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Here we have air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or earth energy, like I said previously before, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Someone is coming in very fast to apologize to you they, because they see an end all with you. So it's, they see the 10 of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, strong Virgo energy here. That's what I'm saying is they also see money making opportunities with you as well like they feel that you're a perfect match for them i see that already whoever it is is trying to stabilize their money as well like you are but they're you guys could make a lot of money together this is the ten of pentacles behind this apology okay i mean in front of the apology is the ten of pentacles whoever this person is um gemini they want to come in they want to apologize could definitely be a strong virgo energy around here ten of pentacles and then the virgo card okay hermit card that's what i'm getting it could be you could have um <clears throat> met someone through your job if not we're going into october and one more day today is august i mean september the 29 2022 so that's what I'm saying. In the month of August, you could meet this King of Pentacles, but you do have someone coming towards you extremely fast. Because the Knight of Bats, which is the Knight of Swords, is the fastest moving knight in the tarot deck. Someone is coming in really fast to apologize to you, Gemini. Yes, you do have options. We do see that with the King of Cups, the King of Pentacles. We also have the Knight of Bats. Then we have the Page of Ghosts. So you guys take it as applied. There is an energy of someone coming in in the month of October wanting to apologize to you. And then wanting to stabilize something. Have a stable, uh, solid foundation with you. Which is that Ten of Pentacles energy. Which is building with you. Marrying you. Building with you. Having a life with you. Having children with you. Okay. And you know, building a legacy. I see so many pumpkins. I feel like this person feels like you know you're their match that they can make money with you that they can have a family with you you see what i'm saying yeah it's pumpkins and all this right here see there and then here and here i feel like gemini you're very focused on your money though right now you may not be too concerned with love but there is love all around you though with the king of cups and pinnacles you do have two kings already present in your reading that's what i'm saying you guys got a lot of options and then you have the knight of swords which is the Knight of Bats. And then you also have someone from your past wanting to come back in and apologize. And that's what the main energy is of this um, month for you, Gemini. Someone coming in wanting to apologize with this Five of Ghosts. Okay, which is the Five of Cups. I, I do feel like this person that is sad in your past is very regretful. They're very sorry for what they did. I do see the Page of Cups here. Like I said... Um, this person definitely is going to make themselves known. I'm feeling like reveal themselves is what I'm hearing. They're going to reveal themselves. When I looked at um, the mask down here, the ghost mask, they're going to reveal their emotions because ghosts in this deck means um, emotions, which is cups. They're going to reveal their emotions. It could be a little bit immature, maybe a little nervous or you know shaky voice or just um they just don't know what to say to you 
they might uh, get choked up. They might get shy around you is what I'm feeling to tell you guys because um, they don't know what to say. They might even leave you guys a letter or something where you work at or, you know, where you're, or I'm hearing desk, okay? So like at your work desk or wherever you're working at, you might see them where, where you work at. Um, they might try to contact you at your place of work. So maybe they don't have to talk that long to you or something. It's, don't feel um, like it's rejection. They just don't know what to say is what I'm getting. This is the Page of Cups. So they're coming in with a very small offer, but they, they just don't know what to say is what I'm getting. Okay? But they want to tell you that they've been alone for a long time. They've been in isolation, which is the Hermit energy, Virgo energy, and then the Ten of Pentacles again, which is Virgo energy. But the Ten of Pentacles, like I said before, can stand for um, any other Earth energy. But the strongest energy is Virgo from this card here. So uh, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, but then we have water. So that's what I'm saying. They're coming in to tell you that they, you know, they might tell you something off the bat like, I've been alone for a long time. I've been in isolation. I haven't been dating no one. I haven't been doing nothing. Because all I'm hearing is, all they, they do is think about you and how to come back to you, how to talk to you, Gemini. All right? That's what I'm saying. So this person is going to be taking some kind of action with the Knight of Bats, this fastest moving night. Okay? That's what I'm saying. For some of you guys, you guys could have met this person at work or they're seeing you work. All right, so they could be, if they know where you work at, they know where you live, they're definitely watching that area, okay? They're watching where you work at, watching where you live. Any messages for um, Gemini? This person is very sad. Oh, my goodness. I picked up this deck, but I'm also looking at this. Very sad. Look at this. Sadness. Okay, messages for Gemini, October 2022. Messages for Gemini. October 2022. Please, messages for Gemini. October 2022. Okay. We have no condom. So this person could be thinking about you sexually as well. We'll split this in a second. Okay, these are runes that I wrote on the card. Defense. So either you're defensive about it or this person is defensive. I don't think they are. They are showing up as a five of cups and king of cups. They're showing up as having a lot of love for you and passion and desire. I just feel that these emotions with the king of cups and five of cups are not being showed yet. So that's what I'm saying. Um, this person could be a water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Same here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio with the five of ghosts, king of ghosts. But um, Scorpio's energy is represented in the Five of Cups. And then Virgo energy is strong. So we have strong Virgo energy, a lot of water energy, guys. And then um, a lot of Earth energy with the King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles coming up. Hermit card and the Ten of Pentacles that we saw in the main uh, spread. This energy is defense. This is a rune, a Viking rune. Hoodoo. Take it as apply, everybody. This may or may not resonate. Your money will grow. Do not think too, too hard. Okay. A new love. The name John. Okay, long life. Dinner. It says, do not worry, all is well. Suck. the color pink uh, let me see worried so someone could be telling themselves mentally I shouldn't be worried I shouldn't be worried it's like that that energy came out where it's contradicting because it says you don't have to shouldn't be worried about nothing and then we just had this energy come out worried pumpkin harvest November is 11s here that's the way I wrote it two ones together Pumpkin harvest money, November, which is um, Scorpio going into Sag, Aterius, Thanksgiving, gratefulness, abundance, harvest, wealth. And then it also talks about about love. That's why I got it about in a little heart right there. So 11, 11 could be highly significant to you guys in the month of October 2022. Also the month of November, which is pretty close 
um, around will be uh, very significant for you guys. Hydrated water, please. Hydrated. Okay. So it's a message to drink water. Spiritual growth. Days. Something could be delayed too, I'm hearing as well. It's like uh, it may not come in days, okay? As it was in reverse. Conflict. Bread, money, okay? Bread equal money. So you guys are very focused on money. I did see that at the beginning. And we read these two that came out when I picked up the deck. All right, guys. What is the message for Gemini, October 2022? The name Sarah. And it says, hold on. It says, short legs, sexy. So someone likes your legs, the way they look, the way they're shaped. They like your legs. Gemini, October 2022. For love, okay, we have a room representing water. So I really feel this person's going to come in and show their emotions to you. They might even cry is what I'm hearing. Okay, this is blank. So in the month of October, there's going to be something not known to you. Okay, Gemini, October 2022. Intimacy. Very well known. Well, okay. Very known, well known publicity. Last one for Gemini, October 2022. The name Ashley. And then we have, let's see. Okay. Whoa, where are you going? Okay. I got it, guys. We have something about 4,000. Okay. It's not just money, but it could be 4,000. Dollars could be 4,000 views, 4,000 followers, 4,000 gains of some kind. So if you have social media, you definitely could have a blow up overnight or something like that. Or for some of you guys, it could definitely just be money coming into a lot of money. To me, $4,000 is like a, a large lump sum of money. Okay, guys. So take it as it applies to you. However, that resonates with you guys. Let me pull your room, Gemini, October 2022. For Gemini, October, love. Okay. We have, yeah, protection. So someone could be worried that they're not protected, maybe their house or their energy, or it could be you or your family or your kids or pets, anything that you feel that's not protected. This room coming out, like I said, this lets me know about your thoughts and what you're thinking about or what's happening in your life right now. So Gemini, if you are worried about something, you guys could possibly be worried about protection and maybe around your house. Like I said, take it as apply. Whatever you're worried about while you're viewing this, the message is to not worry. You will be protected because this room came out before for another sign like that. So um, whatever you're worried about, it means to let go of it. It's you're fine. You're going to be protected. This rune showing up is letting you guys know that you are protected, even if you feel like you're not, okay? So let's see. That's all I have for you guys. Gemini, if it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care.